So I guess we should do what we do when we do what we do. All right. Fernando brought a little show and tell. So you guys want to see a little? Uh, you guys want to see a little s demo of Survive and Thrive? What do you have here? You have a paint can. What I have here is an alcohol heater. This is ideal for heating a small space without creating carbon monoxide poisoning, which is good because a lot of people here have alcohol in their blood. In here, in here, this is a flexible plastic bottle full of uh, denatured alcohol. It can be isopropyl rubbing alcohol. It can be, it can be um, Everclear. It can be, um, you can make your own alcohol. That's another thing. You can manufacture this. You can create a still and make alcohol. So it is a renewable resource. Very important for tough times. I'm going to leave this out. Okay. Now, here I got it. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so this is one that I've used many times. It's an empty paint can that you can pick up from a big box retail store uh, that sells uh, hardware, like a Home Depot. We can't see it down there. Pretend you can. Got it. What's in here is a, uh, a wick, paper, uh, toilet paper. Take a toilet paper roll. All right. Federal Reserve notes. Federal Reserve notes. That's right. Remember the pictures of the Germans taking wheelbarrows full of uh, Deutschmarks at burn to stay warm. They did that. Hyperinflation. It's happened before. I just want to remind the management, this is, is a, this is, he's a firefighter. I am a firefighter. I am a well-trained firefighter. Very well-trained. Very active. That's good. Okay, so what you want to do is remove the core, and then you've got yourself a wick. These are two brand new cans. We'll just pop this right in. So, you ought to think about the simple things, water, fire in the form of light and in the form of heat, food, sanitation, we must be mindful of what's necessary to keep our hearts beating. Here. Now what you've got is an internal wick this is a new can. I'm pouring denatured alcohol into it. Okay? Now, the benefit of having this gallon can is that you can store extra fuel. You can fill this up and then cap it. You can keep it in your car. You can keep it It's something to grab with a go bag. But I've also found that it's really useful to have when you're out and about. You can actually create heat. This was used in the warming station. So the benefit here is that you have this protective covering and it makes it a lot harder for it to get knocked over. It gives off a low blue flame. This right here, this bottle of alcohol, will keep this burning for at least two hours. Minimum two hours. But you don't have to use up the whole two hours at the same time. Because at any point, if you're in a room and it's freezing cold outside and you've got windows patched up, you've got things, blankets, you can elevate the temperature, fend off hypothermia, and then you can save that fuel. And it's out, management. And it's out. And there's no carbon monoxide in this at all. There's now just water vapor in this air. You can pack extra fuel in here. Pack a lighter. I won't pack this lighter because it's Josh's. But I actually, I usually do have one taped to the inside lid. 
But there it is. Now this is something that can help you, can save, make, get us from one point to another. Yeah!